Broken Age is a point-and-click adventure game from Double Fine Productions. You may have heard of this game, it was one of the fastest Kickstarter projects to reach its goal in funding and also go way, 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 way beyond their original asking price to make it and open the way for other developers such as the guys doing Wasteland 2 and the Space Quest guys doing their own Kickstarters to create adventure games that they've been wanting to make for a long time or games in general. And this is the game that kind of started that uh, rolling out of those games. Uh, Broken Age is broken into two acts, Act 1 Act 2. Act 1 is the one that I will be reviewing right now. And Act 2 will come later in the year. And this is because Double Fine, when they were making this game, got so much money that they kind of underestimated how much money they would need with what they're currently doing. So they're coming out with Part 1 and 2, and then Act, Act 2 will be partly funded by the sales of Act 1 to finish up the game, even though they've already promised that. They will make the full game for those who backed it. Such as I. I did back this product, so... You can take that into account of this review if you want. You know what to do, girls. Uh, the game follows two protagonists, Bella, a girl who is trying to change her destiny and defeat an ancient monster called Mog Chathra that they sacrifice young maidens to in order for that to leave their villages alone. Now, it sounds like a bad deal for these girls in, the, in this world. But it's actually something that they've seen as a real honor, and they look forward to being eaten and even have festivals, and it's a huge, huge deal. To not be chosen is actually a huge disgrace, and the girls get very, very depressed about that, whereas the ones chosen are very, very happy when they're eaten. However, Vela decides that she wants to alter this and find a way to kill Mok Chathra. On the other front, you have Shay, a young man who's in space who wants to be able to grow up. His overprotective computer mom has left Shay's life feeling empty and boring. Seriously, the thing that she has him do and the overall design of the ship he's on is like designed for a fight world. And some of, and even the missions he goes on are very, very, very overprotective and designed for a very, very young child and he's, you know, mid teens. I don't think they ever say his age, but that's not the point. So he tries to find a way to get out of this routine and explore and face the dangers of space. With some help, he actually begins doing this, and you get a cool little adventure of trying to, you know, break free of his parents, computer parents. Uh, both orcs are very fun, have a ton of interesting characters and laughs to be had, like... Can you help me kill Mog Chathra? Ah, what a thing to say. Did you just lay that? No, it fell out of my pile of... I mean, it must have been... Pay no attention to that. And... You came... Because you are done with children's games. Yes. Who are you? My name is Marek, and what I'm about to show you is no game. Also, Curtis the Lumberjack is my favorite due to his lines such as... How about... A nice three-legged stool? Mm. Yeah. I've done a stool so long. And... And when you hit the main trail, head east. There is an extremely territorial snake in the other direction. Gotcha. Wait, east? Or was it west? Meh. <laughs> also, my man crush on Will Ween doesn't help this as he voices the character. Okay, Spoon, get ready. I'm going to throw you at the bridge man. I'm happy to volunteer for that suicide mission, sir. But I think if you just shout at the bridge man, he'll lower or raise that bridge. Broken Age is a callback to the old school adventure games of the late 80s and 90s. Use your mouse to point and click around the screen to interact with people, pick up objects and solve puzzles. The difficulty of these puzzles are fairly simple and don't take too long. So for those of you who are looking for a very hard, challenging puzzle adventure game, this may not be uh, exactly what you're looking for, but the game itself is puzzle-oriented, and you have to. There's even some inventory puzzles where you have to put things on top of things to make something new. The game itself is also very short, but as this is part one of what is going to be a two-act game, it's okay. And if you also played any of the old adventure games back in this time, they're also all very, very short. Other than Grand Fandango, but Grand Fandango is a special, special game. Now, the game did have some screen flashing, but other than that, it ran very smooth. I had no issues with it at all, and the gameplay itself was very easy to get a, get the hang of. And for those of you who've played adventure game, point-and-click adventure games, 
this is very easy to get into. Guess I'll just cut this air hose. What could possibly go wrong? Oh boy. No, air! Suffocating! In space! Totally worth it! Broken Age Act 1 is a great game and a good example of how crowdfunding can work when the money goes to the right people. Part 2 is probably going to be a long ways off, but it will be worth it with the way they ended Part 1 and the cliffhanger is great. I uh, actually care what happens to the characters and want to see what happens next in the story. Broken Age I gave a buy rating to, and hopefully you'll pick this up and enjoy what is probably one of the best adventure games to come out in a long time that's not from Tall Tale Games. Make sure to subscribe to our channel up top, uh, like us, click the like button, always enjoy seeing that button go higher and higher on numbers, and make sure to come back next week when I will be reviewing Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Until then, uh, sorry about some of the background noise in some of this. I didn't realize I had the mic on when I was playing the game and I was picking that up. So I apologize for that. That won't be in any other video now that I'm aware that that's going to be, like, you know, could happen. And thanks for watching, everybody. And always remember to trust in the rule of three.